If you don't have independent faith in your ability to reproduce the progressive position, for example, on LGBT and all that kind of stuff, outside of the establishment, you don't really believe in those things. No, it's fine. You got, by the way, I, I can, I'm looking at chat. You guys can call me a lib or a soy boy for this, but I think that like, we're supposed to be socialist. We're supposed to uphold all members of the working class, including like, you know, black people, uh, trans people, blah, 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 all those people. And so it doesn't yeah. look good when there's a level of reactionism present in Marxist Leninist okay, okay. movements. You want to know what I think? Yeah, go on. Um, I think I have a problem with rainbow intersectionality, not LGBT phobic sense, mm -hmm. but this idea that a black and trans and uh, they're all fundamentally different types of marginal struggles, but ultimately like interchangeable, right? Yeah. I have a problem with that because there are some things about these struggles more fundamental than the others. So I like to think in Maoist terms, maybe primary and secondary contradiction. I like to think in terms of materialistic terms. Primary contradiction is the class struggle. Secondary contradiction, well, the national element is what makes it more difficult. Black to me yeah. is not just about identity. From my experience and interaction with you know, black people. Wait, what else, what else is it? It is Stalin recognized the people, black peoples in the United States to constitute a separate nation. No, no, why? Why would, why would you because, want that? Because black people in America have a qualitatively different history, different culture, and different traditions than white America. And, but there, there's, there's different They're cultures. They're not simply, like, we're not simply all Cartesian liberal subjects and some have black skin and some have white skin. Black people in America have their own tradition, their own substance their own uh, yeah their they own... have their own they have their own history their own culture yeah, and, stuff. and they are a like... people they are a people it's not simply individuals who are have different identity they are their own separate people and so you don't think they could coexist you think no no like... they can they can but my view is that for example jimmy Dore, more progressives who are not all white they're not all white but they are coming from mainstream american polity must ally themselves with anti-establishment forces from the black community. And they do exist, who independently represent their own black community. And you create a concrete alliance, concrete alliance based on mutual dialogue, mutual respect, mutual building. This is the issue with Bernie's movement. Lots of people will disagree with me about this. It's okay. We can, we can disagree about it. Bernie people simply wanted to capture the whole of black America. But they didn't understand that the Democratic Party got so many black voters because they, it's a matter of survival for black America. They're the only people they can minimally maybe trust. And most probably don't even trust the Democrats. But the Democrats have established a long dialectic with black American community. Manipula of course, they're manipulating them and all that kind of stuff. But it's a tit for tat. It's not just the white Democrats controlling it all. There is a black community representatives who are allied with the Democrats. So progressive Americans, for the Jimmy Dore type people, they must establish an alliance with anti-establishment forces within the black community who still represent the independence of uh, this community. No what less about if those? What about if those quote unquote anti-establishment uh, like movements? Uh, have certain views that we might not like. They like, will. Uh, they will. They will. There okay. will be homo. There will be all sorts of reactionary views among and vague and we risk, forces. And we risk empowering those movements. No, no, no. Do we not? You have to have faith, and you have to risk it. You have to risk it because if you don't have independent faith in your ability to reproduce the progressive position, for example, on LGBT and all that kind of stuff, outside of the establishment, you don't really believe in those things. If the only source of, uh, uh, if the only way you're identifying with su uh, supporting LGBT peoples is through the prevailing establishment, you don't, you don't really uh, independently support them. Because if you independently support them, within this vague anti-establishment movement, which there will be many reactionary elements, you must seize hegemony and win the people win the people through a giving popular expression to uh, progressive cultural issues, such as the, the women's issue, such as the LGBT issue. 
I un I understand there's there's always a level of risk with revolution and trying to change like uh, the government and everything. But like, like the Bolsheviks, the Bolsheviks, the Bolsheviks were the Bolsheviks, the majority. They represented the big Russian peoples. Of course, well, I mean, they, the lost Russian... the, uh, they lost the one election they had. The yes, Bolsheviks because, went out. Yes, 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 because they were allied with the left socialist revolutionaries. So combined with the left socialist revolutionaries who got the peasant support, they won the majority. The Bolsheviks had the majority of the urban proletariat and they were allied with the left socialist revolutionaries. So and so yeah. they were justified in their coup, like it wasn't uh, well, a coup. I, I it wasn't a coup. I don't want to get into wasn't this a coup. Thing. No, it was a revolution. They got they had the majority of the people on their side. Well, like, were, was what happened to the Mensheviks? Like, how do you justify that? Like, uh, the Mensheviks, they, they... the Mensheviks, the Mensheviks sided with the liberal bourgeoisie. They said the Mensheviks were Western chauvinists. The Western Mensheviks, the Mensheviks said the Russian people are too backward and they're not civilized enough to have socialism. The Bolsheviks said, no, we believe in the Russian people. You can say they're backward and all this kind of stuff. We still have faith in these people. We believe in these people. That's why the Bolsheviks seize power. The Mensheviks dustbin of history. Uh, yeah. Uh, sh shouldn't Lenin then... So, so Lenin, like... Lenin talks about democracy. He wasn't necessarily against democracy. Lenin's democracy That's... is not liberal democracy. Y yeah, I agree. Uh, there's a ter term like democratic centralism or something like that, where you essentially allow like a broad uh, range of socialist movements, but like you don't allow capitalist movements to like be uh, permissible. Uh, I, I, it's a whole. I wanted you know, to. I don't want to get into this discussion. All I wanted to say was that. We can maybe if you want, if you really want to go down that path. I'm not. I'm not educated yeah. in that. But like, all, all I, I, I want I to say, all, yeah, all I want to say is that in the Red Army there was peasants fighting, and those peasants were with the Bolsheviks. But on a personal level, they probably had all sorts of, uh, from a modern perspective, backward views, you know. And, and but 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 fundamentally, it's not what counts because the real fundamental struggle, you know, that's my problem with intersectionality. Some struggles are more fundamental than others. Not simply more important, but just more objectively more fundamental. More fundamental. First, you secure this fundamental struggle. Only when you, only on this new basis can you... Look, any LGB, uh, any uh, cultural struggle that is waged from the establishment, it doesn't matter. It's completely opportunistic. Whereas, yeah, but like this, from the anti-establishment, having... there can be reactionaries in the anti-establishment position. But fundamentally, fundamentally, uh, they're not fundamentally, uh, fundamentally uh, uh, counter-revolutionary or something. They just need more time or something, right? If you're from the establishment and you're trying to crucify the people because they're not politically correct enough, you don't need more time. You are objectively the enemy of the people. But if people, ordinary people, have reactionary views... And they're anti-establishment, they just need more time, and they need more dialogue, and, and whatever. But fundamentally, they're the popular position. And so you, okay, so you must, so you must risk allying with reactionary movements to Absolutely. overthrow the liberal order, and then win out against those reactionary movements after that, essentially is what you're saying. Not necessarily as a movement, but yes, an internal cultural struggle. And we don't know what that cultural struggle will be, by the way. We know we are for... The women's equality. We are for the dignity of the LGBT peoples, but it will take including a form. trans people. Yeah, yeah, right. of course. And it okay. will take, but it will take a form of expression radically unfamiliar to us because it will come from the soil of the people. Okay, and um, so you will form a, uh, a quote unquote government of action, which will allow things like LGBT rights and everything, right? Sure. And then, well, uh, within that government of action. It will secure the dignity and humanity of uh, this uh, sexual minorities you're talking about. 